In problem seven, we're trying to calculate a 99% confidence interval for the true mean value of 12 ounce Coke cans. Now it does say to assume all the conditions have been met, which is important because our sample size is only six cans. Um, so the central limit theorem is not going to help us out much with the normal distribution. But it does say it does follow a normal distribution and it says assume the conditions have been met. So since we're working with a mean here, and since the population standard deviation is known, we're gonna use a Z interval. So if you press the stat button, scroll over to test, and go down to option seven, Z interval. Um, you have two options here. You can either input data. We're not gonna use that right now. We're gonna use the stats option. So the first thing it asks you for is the standard deviation. It's 0.4 ounces in this case. Next, it asks you for your sample mean. It says our six cans had a sample mean of 12.1. Finally, the sample size, six cans. And our confidence level is 99% in this, because so that's what it asked for. When we press calculate, we get 11.679 to 12.521. So we'll write that down as our interval. That completely answers the question, but one thing of interest is, notice the number 12 is contained in this interval. That's good news for Coke, because it doesn't provide us with evidence that they're false advertising that their cans contain a true average of 12 ounces.